right now that looks more like something's going on. There's more filtering going on over here. Also the very same principle. These are medium poles. These are big poles. And that's this. You do take tractor capsules. We'll probably need a couple of those. Didn't they? I just now realized. Didn't they stack to 50 before? Hmm, interesting. Interesting. All right, here there's no filtering. Yeah, we can't. We can't obtain max throughput with these. Oh well, that's not a problem at all. At least not in my book. No, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> No point overthinking this. There's only so much science to be done, anyway. Rather, that should be everything. What about inserter production? No, not really. Right, and there we go. Right away, red circuits are out of supply. Because of what? Because of green circuits not getting into the thing fast enough. That's certainly something we can change. By just upgrading every every bit of green circuit bus up to that point to blue. And I think that's already it. Yep, there we go. Plastics already getting in using a blue belt, so there we are. That should be better. Now I think midterm we might still want to do some productivity here and there. But then again, it's we're not really producing immense quantities of stuff here. I mean, true, we do need a lot of modules, but... I mean, the really, the really resource-hungry part is going to be producing lots of rockets, right? So, yeah, I don't think it's quite worth our, our time and effort uh, to bother with modules in this space. All right, back to topic. Where did we actually want to go? There's 48 robots in the inventory. Don't need to be there. There's quite a bunch of stuff in my inventory that doesn't need to be there. Concrete. Well, we can probably work with that. <laughs> Once again, back to topic. Described. Where are your thoughts? They should be with oil outposts. So I can't quite recall which oil outposts still needed. Speed modules. But I reckon, I reckon it wouldn't be the first ones, would it? Well, let's just let's just take a full tour. Let's do two, three, one, four, five. Two, three, one, four, and five. Then we can once again oogle at this great interface that they brought up for the trains. I really, really love this. I mean, you only really ever appreciate an interface like this once you're actually building something that has a lot of trains, but I would wager we have a lot of trains by now. Well, then again, not really a lot of trains. I mean, it's not uncommon for a base to have 60 to trains plus and even up to a hundred trains running simultaneously. It all depends on how big your trains are and how 
far apart your outposts are, of course. Right, what are we here for? We're here for you. You are speed 3, 3 and 3. So that's base number 1 of our list. Taking a good sip of my coffee there. Because, of course, whilst building a factory, you have to keep <clears throat> alert at all times. And plus, coffee is just the life elixir that everyone needs. Okay, same thing here. Let's get over to the western outposts then. I was also debating the effectiveness of using two wagon trains once again. But so the point is you can essentially you can generate one full um I'm not trying to say you can generate one full blue belt or excuse me two full blue belts per wagon of ore mm. did we do full robot damage yep we did what else flamethrower damage huh I mean, I didn't play with a flamethrower. Maybe we should do that. Also, grenades. Cluster grenades, huh? Didn't play with those either. Hmm, but I think robots is going to be the first thing we want. Sort of the classic approach to endgame batters that I know works and is well tested. Right. So you're all good as well. I'm pretty certain there were bases that weren't all speed module 3. Alright, coming back to topic, you can... So you can essentially extract two blue belts worth of ore from a single wagon on a station. So what that means is we'd never be able to get more than... Oh, there we go. All right, so how do you do that? You can just... Yes, that's another one of those point thirteen features that will come in handy. Also, we don't need a victory item here. Yeah, you can just override modules now. So with the setup we have right here in the base, it's more than enough for the base, which is to say um, four lanes of smelting, of blue belt smelting. This is, it's just about enough. We could conceivably produce a consistent amount of um, consistent uh, what am I trying to say we could consistently produce there we go four blue belts of ore without breaking a sweat basically but if we want to go say for eight lanes or anything bigger than that we'd either need more wagons on the station or we'd need more stops more stations so one of the two has to come when we uh, when we're doing the big smelting areas. What I'm trying to say, basically, quite clumsily, I admit. But there we are. Oh, hello. All right. So that's oil another thing to strike off my list
All right, the rail yard. Where do we even start? I think we start right at the beginning. Where every sane person would. So all of these are still called train storage. Now what about you? Can I just set all of you to manual to manual for a minute? There we go. Snapped to position. Now you're back to place again. Same with you. And with you. So the problem would now be, how do we... Not really, how do we... Does this fit? Let's try... Taking you... Just from back here, maybe. And I want you to go to train storage, please. Mm, yeah, it will work. So we won't have to change anything here from the looks of it. Alright, that's nice. We can live with that. No problems here. Yeah, let's just fill the whole train storage up. There's really no point in not doing that. we are. That's the easy part. Now for the hard part. Mm. Yeah, let's take the concrete train as the first instance of this. Set you to manual, snap you into cheese. Snap you into position, and then go to station. Now that's a hell of a lot more condensed, actually, than before. Mm. Well. There's really no two ways about this. We need to clear these. Start work. Yeah, that's a, that's a problem. <laughs> I know that really we can still count. That's six. No, that's only five. Why is that only five? can barely see anything with all the robots flying about the place. Yeah, let's first clear the way. So that's, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, and six. This one is gonna get cleared. Two, four, six, and clear. Can really do it by eye now, can you not? There you go. And now we can 
just take... Suppose... Uh, suppose we would... Be... Yeah, this isn't exactly working as the previous thing. So let's just do it this way. Right, you can go as well. And that's that. Now how do we how do we align this? I think No. There we go. Let's do it like this. One tile left to the end. And I'll also just clear all of these so that I have somewhat of a clean working environment. Can't imagine doing this with the old, old inventory. All right, so that's kind of the new length we're shooting for. Let's see if we can power it. Well, of course we can, because now... Yeah, this is amazing. So what we could now do is just... Yeah, and I think we will do that. Just have... Power poles. Like this between the set uh, set intervals uh, between the set wagons. Jesus, I totally forgot how hard it is to construct sentences while thinking in this game. Jesus. So we'll put power poles in between the wagons here. And then we can do the exact same thing with the other the other stations. I like that. I like it a lot. And it appears we have a second viewer on stream. Hello, dear sir or ma'am. Welcome to the Abundant Automation Factory. Where we are upgrading basically everything from the olden 0.12 days to the currently experimental but still very much playable 0.13 days. I wonder, did they... It just now occurs to me, did they change some of the AI of um, construction bots with this patch? Because I definitely was inside the... inside the influence of this RoboPort whilst deconstructing this, and still... my personal robots did multiple trips instead of them just doing one trip and then the rest being served by the basis bots. 